Hi. I got blotolopy. I'm really psyched. Problem is, it's totally not what I was expecting. <laughs> I mean, I don't how do you how do you anticipate what yarn is gonna be like, right? I mean you know what merino feels like, you know what a lot of things feel like. I had an idea, because I've seen Ledlopy, but I've never seen the unspun stuff in person. And for some reason I thought it was gonna be not denser. Maybe denser is what I thought. Heavier. Heavier while still being light. Thicker while still being light? I don't know. I have been swatching. Lots of sw wait. Missing one. Um Yet yeah, baby swatches because I'm just trying to understand the yarn. I don't, I'm not even anywhere near, well, I am thinking about garments, but it's not going to do what I thought it was going to do. So I had planned on making sort of a bulky, oversized sweater. That is something that I, I have a sweater that I wear constantly. Um, and it's wearing out and I kind of want to replace it. And I thought this would be the stuff. Maybe not. Uh, maybe. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. But, one, two, oh, that's right. There's the other one. Uh, do you guys do this? This is where I, how I decide if something's going to annoy me, itch me. I stick it somewhere that's sensitive, like around my neck, and I wear it all day. And then if I forget it's there, it's obviously not going to bother me. If I don't forget it's there, it's probably going to bother me. So this doesn't bother me at all. Because I forgot it was there. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I'm swatching to try to get a sense of this. And so I had, I had looked on Ravelry. I, I don't, you know, I research things. I, I like to think I know what I'm doing sometimes. Um, and it seemed that people were knitting it single-stranded as a worsted weight. DK worsted, somewhere in there. Um the most common needle size for single-stranded that I could guess based on Ravelry um, and exploring was was sevens. Now I usually go up a needle size. I'm a tight knitter in the sense that my gauge is smaller. I am not a tight knitter in the sense that, hmm, no, very relaxed knitter so it doesn't make a lot of sense but that's physics for you. Um, so I, th I, I got this. I was like, okay, let's see what happens. I did this one. I mean, look, this, this, seriously, like, I think it might blow away. I, I can't explain to you how light this is. I have never felt a fabric like this in my life, which is fabulous, but I don't know what to do with it. What do I do with this? I don't know. Um, so on sevens, which I thought was going to be too tight, too dense, it's, it's air. On sixes, it's air. It's actually quite nice on sixes. I do like it. I just don't... Like, if I tried to put this over, if I'm layering something, I don't know how that would work. I've never had a sweater that airy. It feels like there's actually... It feels like there's no drape. That it's somehow it's both... It's too light to have a drape. There's no weight. I suppose if you have an actual whole garment, but the only way to find that out is knit the whole garment. Um, so I don't know. Oh, no, sorry, this is on fours. How do I know? I just know. Uh, I will forget later. Then I can always just measure. Because I figured fives might be the way to go. And so, I don't hate this fabric, but it feels like it's just going to fall apart if I breathe on it. Now, I know that's not true. I know the staple lengths are very long. I equally know that when you have sort of this much space between the stitches... That's where the camera is. That... Is that gonna work? I, I don't know. Maybe I wear it around under my thing for like two weeks and see what happens. If it all wears to hell, then bad idea. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, and I will continue to do research and try to learn things and whatever. Uh, I do know that it didn't do what I thought it was gonna do. What it did do, when it did do what I thought it was gonna do, was when it is double-stranded. So, double-stranded. I can't tell if it's focusing. How do, how do people figure that out? It's, I don't know. I guess you find out in later and, and then you, you do something about it or you don't. 
So this is the material I thought I was going to get single-stranded. It's dense, but still weighs... I mean, it's nothing. This is the lightest... This is on eights, because I don't have anything bigger than eights. Oh, no, I have nines. Um, and that's the largest needle size I have, because I usually work with lighter weight things. I really like this fabric, too. These are all blocked. These are all washed and blocked just to see what happens, which is not much of anything. It just sort of evens and fills out a little bit. It doesn't grow in any way, shape, or form. This is what I thought I was going to get single-stranded, and I love this fabric. I want a sweater in this fabric. I don't have enough yarn for a sweater in this fabric. Um, I could order more, but it's about to be Christmas. It's not going to get here before Christmas, and the day after Christmas I'm moving to another country, so probably not going to happen. I don't know. We'll see. I suppose I could wait. Yeah. I could wait, though. That would be the smart thing to do. I could wait. We shall see. So this is my dilemma. I could go light and airy and do like a ranunculus. Would I ever wear it? That's the question. I found this, and I don't remember how I found it. I think I was looking at, at, at gauge, what, you know, what, what could I do at this gauge, and what patterns on Ravelry, you know, that rabbit hole that you fall down, and so I was searching by probably gauge, um, and or by fabric type. Oh, there's a swatch I forgot. How did you get down there? I don't know. Totally different yarn. <coughs> <coughs> so we're not going to talk about it. And uh, so I was looking on Ravelry, and I found this fabulously cool sort of vest over vest scenario, which I certainly would have enough yarn for, even doubled, um, although arguably might be cooler in the singled, if I can feel like that fabric isn't just going to fall apart as soon as I breathe on it. Um, And you, it's got little buttons and a little smocking in the back. I'm going to have to find, I can't remember the name of the pattern, it's H something, some crazy name. Would I ever wear that? I don't know. I want a sweater in this. So, so yarn dilemmas. This is what happens, and this is all I got. Well, I got some socks. I have some sock yarn I can use. So I will make some socks to tide myself over, and I, well, I don't know. Does anyone else do this when you're deciding how long you want your <laughs> sleeves to be? You wear it and hope nobody notices that you've got, you know, yarn coming out of your wrist. And <laughs> I like the length, though, so I am going to keep the length on this. This was another one that was a little bit crazy, and I think I'll probably do a quickie on this at some point. But today I just wanted to talk about let look or not, Plotulopi. The beautiful, beautiful, if you can get your hands on this do play with it. It is so divine. It is air. If you want to make a ranunculus, I can't understand why you would make it out of anything but this. And that is all for today. So, not yet a mistake. A to-be mistake? Sort of a mistake. Well, it's a mistake because the thing I want, I can't have. Well, I can, but only in, say, a vest. Not the giant oversized sweater that I was planning. But that's okay. I'll figure something out. I'll keep you posted. <laughs>